Oh my goodness, you guys, it's Christmas morning. Not really. It is officially the Christmas season. That's right. Look at this. Ready? Uh, I present to you Hickory Farms. Yeah, this is a Hickory Farms video. Not sponsored, but should be. And we're also having Martinelli. <laughs> So what happens, you guys, here is that it's Monday night, kids are asleep, Rich and I, I wanted to get like a little snack, and so I went and I got a Hickory farm with like a cheese and the sausage and the crackers and a little bit of Martinelli's, and we're gonna sit down and we're gonna watch, binge watch, Mrs. Maisel on Amazon. And I'm gonna edit a vlog, so that's what we're gonna do. Rich has no idea that I brought this home. It's the holiday season, and Santa Claus is coming round. The Christmas snow is wide on the Claus. ground. <laughs> Santa's a great big bundle of joy, cause I bring to you some hickory fun. Boo boo, there's crackers. Where? Honey, you have a doctorate. Read it, golden toasted crackers. Oh. Do you feel sheepish? I do. <laughs> <laughs> so knife please what do you think knife you're please. just gonna crack this open right in bed i'm hungry i also bought martinelli's <laughs> oh it's a fun little you. evening and we're also gonna watch mrs Maisel. all right here we go it's christmas my love you say here we go like we're about <laughs> to go on a water slide it's like do you remember here we go hold on hold on we're okay. eating crackers <laughs> so Jeez. this is like I look awful. <laughs> when we were in high school and college, do you remember when we would get done with finals, how we would like, just like eat junk and go to a movie or whatever. Yeah. Like I just like hang out at my it parents' like house and watch a movie. Decompress mode. That's what this is right now. You just finished finals. I am like almost finished with finals. You like it's Christmas. Every year, our elf Jingle brings a North Pole breakfast for the boys. Around the 10th or 11th of December, he brings powdered sugar donuts. He brings his little reindeer friend Chippy. He brings ice cream for breakfast and hot chocolate and cinnamon sticks and peppermint sticks to swirl in our hot chocolate. And it is an amazing breakfast. I mean, what kid doesn't want to have ice cream and donuts for breakfast? I mean, that is the breakfast of elves, you guys. All right, you guys, so we are getting ready to go to our kids' Christmas performance at our church. We're really excited. It's gonna be a fun night of Christmas carols. Robbie is gonna be, our oldest boy is gonna be one of the angels. Um, Jacob, one of our twins, is gonna be a little lamb. And Joey, we're not sure if we're gonna do lamb or donkey or if he's gonna be in it. I just have to see if he'll stand up there for like 30 minutes. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen with that. But we would love you guys to come along on that. But before I show you that, I want to give you guys what you're all here for, which is more Ray Dunn. I mean, who isn't here for Ray Dunn, right? So let me show you. I did a little coffee bar Christmas setup. I think I'm happy with it right now. I may change it and add some more things as this holidays go on if I find more Ray Dunn stuff on my haul next week. But for now, let me show you what I've got. All right, you guys. So here is my Ray Dunn coffee station for Christmas. So let me kind of show you what all I've done, what I've added, what is Ray Dunn, and what is not Ray Dunn. Okay, so if you guys remember, I shared in a previous vlog, which I'll link up here, that this little platter I actually bought at a yard sale at a thrift store. It was $6. It is not Ray Dunn, it is Mud Pie, but I just think it looks so cute with all my Ray Dunn decor. So, I have had some of you wonderful viewers write in and tell me to use this little Christmas tree for marshmallows and this can be sort of a hot chocolate, hot cocoa stand and I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do, you guys. So I will probably use that for marshmallows. This is the Ray Dunn Sugar and Cream set that I just purchased. Um, I love this, I am so excited about this. So I'll probably put sugar cubes inside of this um, because we do do a lot of teas and stuff. And then in here with the cream, when I'm not using it, I put candy canes in it. My kids love to put a candy cane in with their hot chocolate and just kind of use it and swirl it around. And so it makes it really nice and readily available. I wish they had a Ray Dunn storage container that said cocoa. If they do, let me know. But for now, I have tea and cocoa stored in that. 
This little sign is actually not redone. This is a get your jingle on sign that I think I got at Kohl's a few Christmases ago. And I just kind of like the writing in particular and I feel like it looks a little redone-ish. This is my little Frosty the Snowman guy. He sits here. Um, over here I just have a simple white bowl from Target that I just put our little K cups in. This is one of my favorite candle homeschool students. It's Hearth and Hand with Magnolia Teakwood Current. It smells amazing. So I just kind of have that right here. Just to you know look festive, I turn it around so that it just kind of matches. And this is that Ho 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 Ray Dunn pie plate. I got this a few weeks ago in a vlog, which I will link up here. I honestly, you guys, we've used it for cookies and stuff like that, but I think it looks so pretty just displayed on a uh, plate, like a plate holder. Um, just like that. So this is it so far. It's pretty sweet and simple. Of course, I usually always have a Ray Dunn mug there, but I just had some coffee in one, but I will show you. This is my Sarah Ray Dunn mug. Um, and so I think I'm going to go back today and see if I can find like a Noel or a Jingle or something kind of uh, Ray Dunn Christmassy mug to keep right there just for show. But here it is, and I'm pretty... I like it. I might, might want to put up some twinkle lights. I just kind of wanted to keep it simple that could last me all the way through New Year's as well. And here we go. So now who wants some coffee and hot chocolate? Like I feel the vibe with it so much, you guys. The thing that I love the most about making these little Ray Dunn coffee bars is that it's really fairly inexpensive and you don't have to have a ton of money to just make a corner or a nook in your home look Christmassy and jolly and cozy and happy and warm. You really don't. It's, I mean, this is a hodgepodge of things that I've collected. I mean, the candle was a gift. This plate was like, this bowl was like a dollar at Target. I think this snowman came from the Dollar Tree a few years ago. I got this for six dollars at a garage sale. These were 12 for the set. This was on clearance for four, I think four ninety, four ninety nine. This was pretty cheap. It was on clearance after Christmas. And then my Sarah Ray Dunn mug, I think was $5.99. So really, I mean, just look through your pottery and your Ray Dunn and everything you have, Dollar Tree, all that kind of stuff, and you can really make a cute coffee bar and coffee nook. All right, you guys, so now I'm gonna take you with us to see my kids' Christmas performance. I understand some of you might be like, I don't really wanna sit through her kids singing two songs, but it's really more for the grandparents and for those relatives that couldn't make it to our kids' little Christmas pageant. But if you are looking for some holiday cheer and you just want to get a big smile on your face from seeing little ones just sing their little hearts out for the birth of baby Jesus, then I invite you to keep watching. It's two songs and I've kind of spliced them up. But other than that, you guys, that is gonna be it for the day. I hope you enjoyed today today's vlog. Kind of short, kind of sweet, simple, a little bit of Ray Dunn, a little bit of family lifestyle, and that's... Oh, and I also wanted to let you guys know, I did a poll recently on YouTube over on our channel. Um, I think you can just find it if you click on our channel, but if you're one of our avid subscribers and viewers and you're part of our family, our YouTube family here, then I want to know what kind of videos you are looking for. What kind of videos would you love to see on our channel? And so I did a little poll, and I think some of them are Ray Dunn videos, um, family vlogs, day in the life of a mom slash homeschool videos. Um, I think I did home decor, and then I did date nights because Rich and I are big on doing like date nights cheap like fun date nights that are you know on a dime so tell me what you want to see more of I want to know or if there's some other topic that I didn't mention in there let me know in the comments below like what do you want to see us vlog about so that is it I'm gonna go get everything finished up I've got dishes on the stove back there that I have to finish to have breakfast leftovers in them but other than that you guys we love you keep on growing peace see you manana bye guys you guys we're here at church and the kids are about to go on and sing their two songs they're singing joy to the world and they're singing go tell it on the mountain so it's our candlelight service it's really cold it's christmasy feeling and it's going to be great